Listen, 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 Welcome to another issue of the Headless Hammerhead Guide to Comics and More. Today, we're going to have a short video, but it's a very important one as we discuss the most powerful power in the Marvel Multiverse role-playing game. Let's not waste any time and get right to it. So, you're the narrator and you're about to introduce the big bad of the entire graphic novel, just as an introduction, not for a battle, uh, of your big bad, Granny Giblets. So the heroes enter her throne room and she stands up, points at the hero's team and sends her goons after them. But suddenly, one of the heroes who is ranked two bursts into a supernova, destroying everybody, including Granny Giblets. And this wasn't even supposed to be a fight that she was involved in. How could this happen? How could a rank two character even supernova? That's a rank four power. Well, there is a power that will allow a rank two character to do this and much more. So let's take a look. Copy power is hands down the most powerful power in the game of Marvel multiverse role playing game. This is a power control power. Uh, it has a prerequisite of rank two and that's it. No other prerequisites. It takes a standard action. Uh, duration is concentration. As long as the person pays the cost of five focus, then they can keep it going. Uh, basically, the character picks one power a target within 10 spaces has and duplicates it. They can now use it as if it was always theirs. When the character uses such a power, they must pay any cost normally as well. So you might ask, well, doesn't Rogue have this power? And she's not extremely overpowered. Well, Rogue has a limitation. She has to touch the victim so basically she has to make a melee attack and succeed to grab them first and then be able to steal their power this power has a range of 10 spaces that means your person can practically stand at the top of a mountain well not a mountain but say a big hill 50 feet away and look at their target and then take their copy their power um, they don't need to even see the power being used it, it doesn't state that the power must be known to the character so they can just simply kind of know what powers they have and pick one and take it so uh with a range of 50 feet this is huge so your big bad is never going to be 50 feet or more away from the heroes unless they have a huge crowd of minions in front of them um or there's some other type of special circumstance they're flying in a helicopter or something um but basically this rank two character can even if if you're just introducing your big bad for the entire graphic novel that's supposed to be uh, battling them when they're rank six this character can technically copy their strongest power like say a supernova or a possession or whatever and it doesn't say that they must adhere to any of the prerequisites for that power it states specifically it will act as if you've always had the power so basically a rank two character can face superb man and copy any one of their powers their super strength their flight their laser eyes whatever cold breath and just copy it uh, if they see them flying above them, 50 feet above, and uh, just copy it, and then just pay five focus to maintain it. Yeah, if the power has a focus cost to use, they will need to pay that as well, but a lot of powers don't have a focus cost, and five focus is not a lot to pay when you're ranked two for a power that, say, is a rank five power, like Possession or Supernova. You just pay five focus and and then supernova is insane a lot of rank one characters can have over 100 focus points so you use supernova and you basically can add plus one to the melee damage to anybody within 10 feet for every two points of focus you spend so you can annihilate the entire bad guys regime at rank two even versus a rank six character so this is an insanely powerful power. Um, it is extremely OP. And I think that it requires some limitations from the narrators. For myself, I will be implementing a rule where you can only take powers or copy powers equal to your rank or lower. You can ignore the other prerequisites, but they must be a power that your rank normally is allowed to have. Marvel's errata document does not fix this, that this power is described on page 90, but all you see here, it jumps from page 80 about wisdom and wisecracker, and it jumps to page 90 and 91 to talk about dance of death, but it ignores completely copy power. So it is not corrected in the errata. So you might ask, well, isn't steel powers uh, even stronger than this one? Well, let's break that down. 
So Steel Powers is a very strong power. However, it does have several re prerequisites. It also requires you to be a rank 4 character. It can be used as a standard or reaction uh, action, uh, and, but it requires that the target be grabbed first. So first you need to make a melee attack and succeed on that and grab the character, the target, and then you have to pay 15 or more focus. Basically, the way this power works, you steal all of the target's powers and then they can't use them, you have them all. Um, and it's going to cost a minimum of 15 focus uh, or the highest focus cost power that you're stealing. Um, which is still not bad because you're not paying the cumulative focus cost. You're just paying the highest one of all of them. But that's still a pretty good focus cost to pay. And then the concentration is going to be that maximum focus cost every single round to maintain that. So... It, it is a lot more limited. You need to have the target grabbed. It's not just to, about touching the target. You must first do one attack to grab them. And then you have to use this power as a standard or reaction um, to then do the stealing and then pay a lot of focus for it. It's very different than having a 50 foot range and being able to steal power that is way above your rank. I will delve deeper into the power control powers on a future video. Uh, this week I will be doing the uh, plasticity powers and a couple other videos um, but stay tuned I'm gonna have a lot more content coming up real soon but for now please don't take off granny giblets hit that like hit the subscribe leave a comment hit the notification bell send me a message uh, by email headlesshammerhead at gmail.com remember if you're subscribed every comment you leave on any video until I hit 249.2 followers will give you an entry into the contest to win everything Marvel Multiverse role-playing game related that Marvel releases officially from this year and through 2024 and you will receive those for free so be sure to hit that like subscribe leave a comment and remember oh no Granny Giblets doesn't bite she takes out her dentures before every fight <laughs>